Hey guys, welcome back to the Rebel Chomps channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about empty hilts and what it basically entails. Um, the tech no talk by basically by a lot of uh, Sabre fans is always called as empty or empty hilt. And what it basically means, it, it's a no-brainer. Um, it's an empty lightsaber hilt, no electronics in there. And why is that so important? Why are so many people talking about it? Why? Are so many people um, bringing this up I mean wh what is the importance of an empty hilt and the most important factor is to me and as in my personal opinion is that as a Sith or Jedi you will truly build your own lightsaber and basically install it with your own electronics it's the pathway of a Sith or Jedi and that's why empty hilts are such a big part of the hobby now I got this Solos hold blind knight in front of me which of course is Kane and Jarrah's lightsaber it's completely empty it's up to me to install it with electronics or send it to somebody to install it uh, for me as in a commission um, but these lightsabers are basically the, uh, the, the 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 backbone of the lightsaber collecting. Um, this is this is the fundamental of lightsaber collecting. These empty hilts. Um, not everybody is into soldering and installing electronics themselves. Most of the cases, I'm not one of those as well. I rather buy a complete um, experience from a uh, saber company and enjoy the lightsaber from the get-go without me having to think about the electronics or worry about I know how I soldered this or that pad and it's doesn't it's a, not a clean soldering pad and it keeps nagging on me uh, it will OCD on me so for me I'm more of a, a complete lightsaber experience guy so I like to for example do my commissions with uh, the established uh, smiths that uh, have a good reputation in the saber community but again, these empty hilts are really important for uh, the lightsaber community as a whole and they really are the backbone of lightsaber collecting. Uh, it starts with this and it basically ends with this and um, it can be a very inexpensive way to get into high-end lightsaber collecting as well. For example, this is a really high-end Solos hold lightsaber. Uh, of course, completely empty, so no electronics, but at 350 to 400 US dollar, you get a very high-end uh, replica piece that you wouldn't be able to get uh, for, uh, for example, from Saberfort. Um, so that is really cool. Uh, but on the other hand, of course, it's completely empty. There's nothing in there. So it's also a little bit of an economics uh, that you have to take in calculation what is important to you. For example, an accurate uh, lightsaber or a less accurate lightsaber and then buy something from an alternative saber company such as Saberforce if they ever bring back uh, the Rebel, for example, which I do hope, uh, Phil Isherwood, please do so. Um, but um, I mean, the empty hilts are fundamental to lightsaber collecting and either I, I would say every lightsaber collector out there should have at least one empty hilt either it's empty or a uh, 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 for example it's a scrap tech uh, self build something you built from uh, from pipes or something or it's a lightsaber like this from Solos Hold like a high end empty hilt but you really should have at least one empty hilt in your collection that you might one day actually want to install yourself or uh, have somebody commission it for you and have a beautiful installation um, it's it's the it's the, it's it's like having the very expensive watch in your in your um, in a little box and you might never know when that occasion comes but when it comes you're gonna enjoy that very expensive watch to the fullest and that's what I think about empty hilts you don't have to get them installed immediately you can just enjoy them as pieces of art look at them and maybe one day you will say now it's time I am gonna install the electronics or I'm gonna have somebody commission it for me so let me know in the comments what you think about it thanks for watching see you next time bye bye